Welcome to Step by Step, a video Bible study series presented by the Monte Vista Church of Christ in Phoenix, Arizona. In 1 Peter chapter 2 and in verse number 9, as Peter writes to Christians, the people of God, he says, as he describes them, he says, for you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own possession. I want to highlight, highlight that language, a people for God's own possession. Some translations say a peculiar people. I really like that. I like that because it shows me that Christians are different. Christians are different when compared to the rest of the world. They're peculiar, unique, even strange. Why are they strange? Why are they unique? Why are they peculiar? Well, there are at least four reasons why. First, Christians are unique or different because of their priorities. Their priorities are different. While the world prioritizes money and stuff, and fame, fortune, sexual pleasure, and in some cases even education, Christians prioritize God. They prioritize Jesus. They prioritize the gospel of Jesus Christ. Prayer, worshiping God, even trying to help other people learn about God. In Matthew chapter 6, in Matthew chapter 6, and in verse 33, Jesus says, But seek first his kingdom, and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. When Jesus talks about seeking first God's kingdom, or the kingdom of God, he's talking about seeking first the rule of God. Kingdom refers to rule, authority, reign, God's will. Christians do that. They seek first God's will, God's rule, God's authority. They seek first God and His Son. That makes them different when compared to the rest of the world. Christians are different because their priorities are different. And they're also different because they, they look different. They physically look different. They dress different. Their attire is different. In 1 Timothy, 1 Timothy chapter 2. In 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9, Paul says, Likewise, I want women to adorn themselves with proper clothing, modestly and discreetly, not with braided hair and gold or pearls or costly garments, but rather by means of good works, as is proper for women making a claim to godliness. Here, we learn that unlike the world, which at times dresses in attire that is skimpy, very revealing, and in some cases non-existent, Christians are different. They live by this right here. They dress modestly, discreetly, clothes in clothes that are non-revealing, in clothes that cover their bodies, in clothes that back up their claim to be followers of Jesus Christ, while the world prioritizes physical appearance Christians prioritize spiritual appearance, making sure the inside of the earthen vessel is spiritually clean, that it is godly, righteous. Christians dress in such a way that backs up their claim to be followers of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. They're different because they look different. But then thirdly, Christians are also different because they strive to be servants first. Servants first in Philippians. Philippians chapter 2. In Philippians chapter 2 and verse 3, Paul says, Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind regard one another as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interest, but also for the interest of others. Have this attitude in yourselves 
which was also in Christ Jesus. While the world promotes the idea of looking out for self, being selfish, self-centered, being in competition, seeking to get ahead, seeking to fulfill what I want to do, my own pleasure, it must come first and foremost. While the world lives with a selfish and self-centered mindset and promotes that, Christians are different. They strive to be like Jesus. They strive to be like their master, like their king, like Jesus. Christians are servants first. They serve first. They, they seek to help people first. Instead of living life wearing a bib, Christians live their lives wearing an apron. They live their lives asking questions like, who can I serve? Who can I help? Who can I encourage? Who can I pray for? Whose life can I help make better? Who can I help draw closer to God? Christians don't live with a mindset of me, 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 me. It's all about me. It's all about my wants, my needs, my desires, me being first. No, like Jesus served us. In the highest possible way, by dying on the cross for our sins, Christians are like Jesus. They live their lives serving Him first and serving others. They're servants first. That makes them different. But then a fourth thing that makes Christians different is their hope. They have a different hope than the world. In 1 Peter chapter 1. In 1 Peter chapter 1 and in verse number 3. Peter says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to His great mercy has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to obtain an inheritance which is imperishable and undefiled and will not fade away reserved in heaven for you. Well, the world lives with a mindset that says this world is all there is. There's nothing left to come. We need to live our lives to the fullest right now because this life is all there is. So we need to do whatever we want to do and be unrestrained and not worry about consequences. While the world promotes that kind of thinking, Christians, well, they live according to what Peter says. They live their lives realizing that this life is not all there is, but they have a hope in what's to come. They have a hope in life after death a hope in Jesus, a hope of seeing Jesus, a hope of the resurrection, a hope of being able to be with God the Father and His Son Jesus for eternity. Christians have a hope that extends far beyond this life and that makes them different. Christians are different because their priorities are different. Their thinking towards being a servant first is different. Their hope is different and they even look and dress different. These are the things that make God's people peculiar and may God bless you as you strive to live as a child of His hopefully and as you strive to be different and peculiar and not be ashamed to do that for Jesus. Thanks for watching. For more online Bible study material or to find more episodes in this series, visit us on our website at montavista.church.